Hi, so welcome to another Ugo Host tutorial. In this Ugo Host C panel tutorial, I'm going to explain everything you need to know about the Ugo Host C panel. Now, if you've just purchased your domain name and your web host from Ugo Host, you want to watch this video next because you have to understand how the C panel functions, everything on the C panel page before you should start building your website. So this is my Ugo Host C panel. As you can see, the server here, you're going to see ugaservers.com. So this is ugaservers.com. Now. Google host just released their Jupyter team as of recording this video, so you could actually try it out if you want. But I prefer to leave mine like this. Now, you as you visit the um, cPanel area, you're gonna be welcome with a screen like this. You're gonna say, "Welcome to your new hosting account." cPanel is ready to help. Now, you can do two things for this place. At first, at your first glance, you could either create an email account or view the website. Now, if you click on view the website, you're gonna be using the Google host um, team builder to build your website. If you click on this create an account you can actually create company email or admin email which i did in my previous video you can actually watch the video now this is the first part now let me start explaining every other part furthermore so you could get a basic or a detailed understanding of this with the whole panel now the first place you want to see is this email now email email consists of everything that has to do with mailing as a website and as an individual or a company so you, right on this first tab you can create an email account the second tab you can do your forwarder now what are, what do they mean by forwarder supposedly you have an email with you created an email here you want to forward the email that every email that enters your company email is also sent to your personal email this is this forwarder is what assists you in doing that now you also have your email routine and your auto responders what this does is they, they help you um when clients reply let's assume you build a company website for a client and your a customer actually message the sent an email to the um, client auto responder simply assists you in sending a responding email back to that client let's assume the client made a complaint you can actually set an auto responder that anyone that laid a complaint to your uh, anyone that sent an email to your company email will be sent something like um hello we are off or we are on holiday we'll get back to you as soon as possible something like that now a default address is simply the um the set address for your email account so one of the things you you, you might you might never use one of the um i don't know but on my years of designing website i might i have never used the default address the email feature the encryption the email deliverability the boss tapper calendar address importer you can use track delivery because you can even sometimes you need to track your emails this is actually okay global email features spam features this spam feature is actually okay but i have never used any of them the ones that are actually relevant to my clients for website i build for them is the email account the forwarders and the auto responders those are the major ones that actually that are needed for a main website and the track delivery sorry just in case you are doing some of the email marketing stuff so those are the ones that are needed on this email part so every other thing are just simple you can go through with all of them one after the other but i'm just going to skip this other part because they are not needed as i said the ones that are mainly needed which i've spent years building websites so these are the ones i know that are necessary it's your email account your forwarder your auto responder and your track delivery so your mailing list you can actually be look, leave, um, you can actually see all the emails that are sent to you or uh, that have made the message to your email account so these are what you need to know for the email part 